I'm Goat. I ride bikes. And let's... Let's learn the track stand. Why track stand, footwork, the physics behind it, and why the freak you would do it in a park or a parking lot. No doubt you've noticed that I'm at a local park again. Why a local park? Two factors. First of all, convenience. And second of all, there's no, there's no distraction to get on a trail and go shredding. If I show up at a single track trail system, I'm gonna to wanna to get on the trail and bypass the skills practice. Most of us live or work within five minutes or less of a park. Relatively flat ground, soft grass to to fall in so take your bike to work pedal to a local park or when you get home from work pedal to a local park dedicate a day or two a week to just skills I know it's monotonous but it's gonna make you a better bike handler a better mountain biker yes even a better road rider gravel rider commuter whatever type of riding you do bike handling skills are so necessary to making you a better rider so what are we talking about when we talk about a track stand it took me a long time to figure this out. And why am I doing a video about this? It's because different people teach in a different way and different people learn in different ways. There was one video, I wish I could remember which video it was, where a guy talked about a specific key that helped it click for me, hoping to do the same thing for you. A track stand is not just muscling it out, gritting it out and balancing your bike left to right. You're going to find a slight incline to help get started on these. You want a very slight incline. Your favored foot is going to be forward. Pedals flat, favored foot forward, and this is the key. Your bars are going to be turned in the direction of this favored foot. What's going to happen is you're going to apply a slight amount of pressure to that forward pedal. And when the bike starts to tip the wrong direction, you're going to ease up on that pressure and let the bike roll backwards. Watch videos of people doing track stands. You'll notice that there's just this ever so slight motion. I'm going to exaggerate what's going on here. This is the exaggeration of what's going on here. Bike's tipping. You're countering that with pressure or releasing that pressure on the forward pedal and letting the bike do its job of balancing underneath you. What does that look like? Slight incline, favorite foot forward, bars to that favorite foot side. Technically speaking, a track stand is done without brakes, but I don't have enough of an incline here. There we go. I've got a little hole that I'm sitting in that's simulating a hill. Forward pressure, back, forward, back. When you first start out, it's very helpful just to exaggerate that mo movement. Back and forth, back, forth. Once you get dialed, once you start getting better at it, you can decrease the exaggeration of that to the point where you are just holding the bike in place with barely perceptible changes in the pressure on that front pedal. So that's it. Favorite foot forward, bars to the direction of the favorite foot, apply pressure and ease up on the pressure as the bike needs to maintain your position. I'll see you out there. Seems pretty straightforward. You can do it. Look, I'm 52 years old. I've been doing it for about two years. The track stand. If this old goat can figure it out, you can too. And that's why I'm doing these videos. I'm nothing special, but I did figure something pretty cool out. If you've watched any of my videos, you'll notice that the walls are getting kind of barren. 
Goat Rides Bikes Studios is getting ready to move. We're going to be offline for a couple of weeks as we move houses and I get the new Goat Rides Bikes Studios up and running. Hit the like button, throw some comments on, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you out there. Hi. <clears throat> I'm Goat. I ride bikes. And this sucked.